Our reporter Steve King just talked to a doctor from St. Mary's Medical Center about how to stay safe during and after the storm. Yeah, take a listen to what, this, what he had to say. All right, Dr. Ramsayer, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we wanted to ask you, what are the main things people need to know about the storm in regards to the common injuries that you see? Well, there are uh, injuries that we expect with uh, different phases of the storm. Uh, prior to the storm, when people are preparing, they are uh, at risk of injury falling from ladders, especially if the ladders are wet and they're uh, hanging during uh, the time that's raining. Uh, there are injuries that we've seen where people have had shutters fall on their arms or on their bodies and they've been injured that way with either fractures or crush injuries. Uh, we've had chainsaw injuries where people are trying to clear uh, trees prior to the storm or even after the storm. Uh, generally speaking, uh, we recommend that if you are hanging shutters or preparing for the storm uh, on a ladder or uh, doing other things around the home, that you do it with help and not alone. What other prevention tips do you have for people in order for them to hopefully prevent any of these injuries? Uh, well, a lot of people are equipped with uh, hurricane windows in Florida, but not everyone is. So if uh, someone is on a ladder, it usually should be a, a younger person that is uh, more stable. Uh, and additionally, having more people is better uh, when you're preparing a home. Uh, doing things alone with heavy objects it puts people at risk of falling uh, or being crushed by those objects. As a trauma surgeon here at St. Mary's Medical Center, do you see an uptick of these types of injuries when a storm hits or after the storm is hit? Yes. Uh, we haven't had a storm here in a few years, but any time a storm comes and people are preparing, uh, we do see an increase in injuries from falls or crushes uh, or injuries from chainsaws. Um, and regarding people's medications, what, do you, what information do you want to share with people who have prescription medications? The storms are approaching very soon. What um, information tips do you want to share with uh, people who do have those prescription pills? Uh, when preparing for a storm, people should have uh, supplies available. They should have food, they should have water, and they should have their medications as well. So if uh, you have a person that is reliant on certain medications to maintain uh, their health, they should make sure that they have enough to, to weather the storm and the time following the storm with the expectation that pharmacies may be closed and the medicines may not be available. If anybody unfortunately does get hurt in any kind of um, storm-related incident, what's the best thing they can do um, while they wait for 911 to arrive? It depends on the injury. Uh, if they're bleeding, uh, they should take measures to stop the bleeding or at least control the bleeding. Uh, if there is an injury with a, a crush, for instance, uh, that should be stabilized uh, if there's an associated fracture uh, in order to prevent uh, additional injury. Uh, they should call for help, uh, family members, notify them that they're, they're injured. And is there anything else that you want to share at this time, Dr. Ramsayer? Uh, there are other uh, ways of being injured during a storm or even after a storm. Uh, we do see injuries where people are preparing for the storm, but primarily I think people are at risk of following a storm. Uh, during the storm, people will often go out to assess damages during the eye or even uh, while the storm is going on. We advise against that as you can be struck by flying debris or crushed by floating debris if there is flooding. Uh, after the storm, when people have uh, issues with maintaining electric and power. Uh, there can be electrical uh, conduction injuries, uh, burn injuries from flames, so we recommend using flashlights or lanterns that are powered by battery rather than by fire. Uh, one of the major uh, causes of injury that is seen after the storm is uh, generator use, either by burns from gasoline or by carbon monoxide poisoning. So the, if using a generator or some uh, way of preparing food like a gas stove, this should be uh, away from open windows uh, in a ventilated area uh, far from the house. Thank you. Thank you.